is one of the biggest problems we see with almost every pet um, above the age of two almost. Just like with you, you should be brushing your teeth every day. So for animals, same thing. If we're not brushing our animals' teeth, then they're gonna definitely have dental disease. Big things you worry about is tartar buildup, gingivitis, bad breath, and it can even turn into dental diseases because everything starts with the mouth. It all goes in through the mouth. Further down the line, you worry about connections with the kidneys, the liver, your heart. So all very important to you know where it starts and that can definitely be the oral cavity in the mouth. Dogs and cats can just naturally build up, you know, bacteria and tartar. And so what happens is, is that it can get to a point where it basically takes over the whole tooth and the tooth roots and the whole um, periodontal ligament can be infected and create tooth root abscesses. You can have teeth that fall out. So these are all very, you know, things you can see yourself. So actually examining your pet's mouth, you know, almost regularly, knowing what's going on in there can help. Brushing is the number one thing you can do for your pet. It's the easiest thing you can do. You do it every day at home, as well as offering treats and chew toys that actually have been you know, approved for dental and oral health care. Almost every time we have a pet in here, we do an exam on the oral cavity, just looking around. And even if they're a healthy pet, we do examine it every time. start with dental x-rays so we can make sure that we can evaluate the roots of the teeth, make sure none of them need to be extracted and if they do, we let the owners know. And then we go forward with scaling, scaling off some of that tartar off the teeth and then we go to polish them. And then we also put a sealant on there to protect some bacterial overgrowth and try to decrease the severity and how frequent they get the buildup. Um, and then after that, we just send them home most likely with antibiotics if they got extractions and if not, it's a simple dent dental, they can just go home. We do cater per animal when we recommend them coming in for dental. So if we have a, a really nice cleaning and everything looks really good, you know, we might not need to see them for a few years. Whereas we have smaller breed dogs and cats tend to have, you know, more dental disease. We do recommend sometimes almost six months. So it's just, it's case by case basis. Mm -hmm.